Hey guys, it's James from Bucks Downhill. Today I'm going to be doing a short review on the board that I ride for Downhill Freeride, the Rain GMAC D-Lite Edition. Okay, so first off with the specs, it's a 38 inch long board with a width of 10 inches at its widest with wheelbase options ranging from 25.25 inches to 26.25 inches so it gives you a little bit of leeway depending on how wide or short you're going to want your trucks so I ride the D-Lite edition which is a special edition made by Rain it basically means that it's 15% lighter than the normal construction this means that you accelerate like a tad bit faster and it's just easier to carry it up and down the hill and easier to get around on it rather than just the normal construction. Now my personal preference on the D-Lite edition, it was light. Um, definitely definitely light when I first got it, um, which was noticeable and fun to play around with. However, after skating it, I've skated it for over a year now and I've taken it through some rougher climates here in the UK, obviously with rain and stuff, which I shouldn't have done. Um, but I've kind of waterlogged it a little bit. It is a little bit heavier now, however, even so, it's still pretty light compared to some other boards, and so I can still compete on it and things. The D-Lite Edition is definitely improvement. Whether it's worth the money, that's for you to decide. So the board's symmetrical, which is great because it means that when you're in switch, it feels very, very similar to regular, and it means that your foot position can be more or less the same, and you can keep your feet locked in the whole way down, which is an amazing feeling. I went from a simple top mount directional to this thing, so it was quite a big step up, um, and getting used to the board was quite difficult. The first couple months, I had some pretty rough riding. My style went completely out, um, so, if you are going from a very different board, it may be a bit of a shock. For some reason with me, it completely blew my riding away and I, it felt really, really odd until I got my setup dialed in and until I got used to my stance and how I wanted to stand on the board. And then suddenly it clicked and everything became super, super comfortable. So definitely the symmetrical shape is a big bonus. Um, I know some people chop it and I've considered chopping it before to a directional shape because I love it for downhill as well. Um, I've got to say, I've been downhilling on it for probably about six months now. I started off just using it for free ride, but now I use it as both my downhill and free ride board. I pretty much, it's the only board I really use when I'm skating in the dry. The concave on the thing is insane. Um, definitely at the start, as I say, it was a big transition because I've suddenly gone from near to no concave to huge pockets um, and as rain concave is Kind of famous for. It's quite an extreme and aggressive concave. However, saying that, at parts it's quite aggressive, but at other parts it's really, really mellow and it's it can be quite subtle, which is nice because it means that you've got a little bit more freedom on the board. For example, there's some really nice pockets that you can dig your toes into when you're doing toe sides, which I've used constantly for learning how to toe side check and toe side 180. The radial drop is perfect for tucking because um, it gives both your feet a point of reference and it's also great for sliding as well because you can really dig into it which I really really love about this board. The D-Lite construction even though it's really really light you don't lose any stiffness in the board so it's still really really stiff fine for downhill and freeride you don't need to be worried about flexing out or whatever. The concave is also perfect for changing around your stance I've been playing with doing maybe a slightly shorter stance or slightly longer on slides and things and it's great because there's various different concaves through the board you can kind of choose where to put your foot and it kind of feels like wherever you put it it's still really really comfy um, it's really comfy to tuck on as well I personally use a foot stop on it but I only use a very very small SMD one just so I have a, a small point of reference for my front foot for tucking and also I like it there for sliding as well however I know a lot of people use this board without a foot stop and it's possibly something that I might look into in the future so I'm currently riding the board with some seismic ion trucks and various different wheels for kegels for downhill and then currently using Quincy's for free ride which I'm really enjoying and they go really well with the board however I was experiencing quite a bit of wheel bite with my kegels so I have put some risers on just to bump up my trucks a little bit to give that extra little bit of clearance. The D-Lite Edition rain boards are only available for a certain amount of days every year from the rain website. However, I found that you can actually get them off other dealers who will buy them from rain. 
So for example, I got mine from Sick Longboards, which is great for if you're in the UK because the shipping charges are a lot less than if you're buying from America. So I'd keep your eye out on other distributor websites such as Muscate or Sick Longboards just to keep your eye out because there may be a D-Lite edition that might go on for sale. All in all, the board is amazing. I've loved it so much. It's the, my favourite board that I've ever ridden. Um, I have no idea what I'm going to go on to after it because it is truly amazing to ride and I've really, really enjoyed it. It's improved my style dramatically. Um, even though it was a little bit rough at the start. I've really, really enjoyed it. If you'd like to know a bit more about this board, you can hit me up on my social media or whatever, uh, and you can ask a couple questions about it that I didn't mention in the video. Also, if there's any particular videos that we've done recently that you have particularly enjoyed, pop them down in the comment box below, and we'll try to make more of them. Uh, right now, we're, about to, we're all about to go off on holiday, so I'm having to stack a couple videos up, so the next couple of weeks, may just be kind of reviews and it may be a little bit repetitive so I'm sorry about that. One more quick shout out to the Razorback Games video that I recently finished up editing. If you haven't seen it, go check that out. Uh, shout out to all the Bucks Downhill filmers for doing that. Um, they did a really, really good job of filming it. Anyway guys, uh, this has been James from Bucks Downhill doing a very, very cringy, cringy ending. Uh, I'll. Uh, See you next week, hopefully, if I get on the video soon. Bye. Whoop whoop. Oh my lord. Make a video. I'm on it.